guys, welcome back to a not so retro review! And this time around, it's all about Dakar 18, a game that I was waiting since forever! But uh, was I disappointed with it? Let's take a look! Big Moon Entertainment is a small and young Portuguese developer with a bold mission to bring the Dakar experience to fans and enthusiasts that always wanted to tackle such a challenge and extreme adventure on the comfort of their homes. In the past, a very restricted group of video game developers had the guts to try and replicate the feeling and emotion of such an endurance race. We have to travel all the way back to 1988 to find a game that really captured that sense of freedom, of choice and of strategy. That game was Paris Dakar from the Spanish developer Made in Spain. In that one we had a simplified roadbook that would tell us how many kilometers we should drive north, then how many we should drive east and so forth. Believe me, it was a huge challenge and on an 8-bit home computer. 30 years have passed and in the meanwhile the event switched from European and African landscapes to South America. It was no longer safe for contestants to cross certain African countries. Their lives were at risk. The last three events would have their initial start here in Portugal. And as a huge fan of the event, practically since birth, I simply had to follow the race as close as I could. Sadly, the 2008 edition and last one starting from Lisbon was cancelled due to threats of a terrorist attack on whoever crossed the Mauritanian border. Let me remind you that this is an event that needs to be planned almost a year in advance and practically half of this particular one would take place in Mauritania. With that said, ASO, the organization responsible for the Dakar, crossed the Atlantic and landed on Argentina the next year and it stayed on South American soil since then. As said before, Dakar related games came and went, but those were traditional racers just like all others and competition is ferocious in that particular genre. Finally in 2018 we have the chance to try a new Dakar game, but this time around, extremely focused on navigation and orientation using the most important item on such a race, the roadbook. This is what this game is about, a true sim in what orientation and navigation is concerned. These were based on the real roadbooks used on the 2018 Dakar event that took place back in January and the waypoints are exactly where they were supposed to be that even Alex Aro, Nani Roma's co-driver recognized. Nowadays the Dakar is open to 5 distinct categories, cars, trucks, bikes, quads and SXS and Big Moon tried really hard to implement those in the game. Bikes and quads have strange behaviors, but at least they don't have a navigator by their side yelling at them. These vehicles respond weirdly to the controls and I can't get no fun and enjoyment out of them. As for the 4-wheelers, trucks and the 4x4 cars are the ones that really bring a smile to my face. Even not having the physics models that all fans like me were hoping for. Maybe on Dakar 19. So putting the physics aside, what have we got left? The vastness of the desert, the huge dunes, miles and miles of open landscape to drive and to get lost. And our co-driver yelling and most importantly telling us where to go so that we can focus on driving and on reading these treacherous terrain filled with traps and hazards. If you want to simply go flat out across the dunes following a predetermined track or path, well, you've come to the wrong place. There's tons of options out there, but if you're willing to try something new, something unique, Dakar 18 is definitely for you. Dakar 18 is all about cross-country rally racing with long stages of up to one hour non-stop if you're an experienced driver and somehow slightly familiar with orientation and navigation. Obviously that there are tutorials and a rookie mode to help you get familiar with this game. For the hardcore racer and fan of the real Dakar event, competitor and legend modes are the way to go. 
Dakar 18 offers a play area of over 18,000 square kilometers, divided across the 14 official stages of the real Dakar Rally 2018, detailing not only the expected course for each stage, but also a huge area for us to explore and to get lost covering Peru, Bolivia and Argentina. There's even a treasure hunt mode that will allow us to find, well, treasures. And while doing it, we'll come across incredible and mystical places such as the Nazca Lines in Peru. Picking a category may be the most difficult choice you'll ever make in this game, so choose wisely and start by a vehicle that you find more suitable for your own personal driving skills. All of them are licensed from the real manufacturers and teams and for instance, the big trucks are really fun to drive but a bit slow, whilst within the car category there are the rear wheel drive buggies from Mini and Peugeot that can really be challenging to drive, sliding all over the place. Again, choose wisely or you'll probably give it all up in the first couple of miles. Even so, the more resilient players out there that are really looking for a true challenge should pick a bike or quad in where, as told, there's no navigator by your side, so you'll have to drive, read the roadbook, make the necessary adjustments to the distance traveled to match the ones on the roadbook, etc, etc. By the way, and in the meanwhile, the two wheel bikes were completely reworked and after the last released patch, riding these is slightly improved. Again, driving in general is not as enjoyable as it should be, even with a steering wheel and pedals, but the real test lies on navigation and orientation. Taking your vehicle into the unknown, having the real sense of being lost somewhere in the desert and having to find your way back to the right path is a freaking amazing challenge. Surely that it would have been even more incredible if the driving mechanics and feeling were there. But we have to keep in mind that this is the very first racing game entirely developed from scratch, coming from Big Moon Entertainment. There are so many cool features included in Dakar 18, like being able to help other drivers that are stuck in the mud or on the top of a dune, use shovels to dig our way out or apply recovery boards if there's no one around to help us. Also, after freeing our fellow drivers, they can run you over, so just stay out of their line of sight. Also, the online multiplayer is really engaging and fun, but it's quite difficult to find someone to play with. There's also other multiplayer options like the traditional split-screen mode and even two-screen modes, so that each can have their own screen. This last mode is truly enjoyable and extremely fun that brings that good old spirit of couch play, something totally forgotten nowadays. After the day one patch, there was a ton of issues still to be corrected. These issues are now addressed, but there's others popping out as more players start playing the game, like cars disappearing in thin air or trucks appearing from nowhere on top of others. Uh, this is weird. In the meanwhile, 8 patches have already rolled out for the PC version, improving and fixing tons of issues that players are reporting on a daily basis. And what's also awesome about Big Moon is that they're actually listening to all our feedback. So after being playing Dakar 18 since day one and experienced all bugs and tried all patches, I can conclude that, as for car physics and handling, we're stuck with what we have right now. As for the experience and feeling of being part of the greatest off-road event on earth, it's all there and being able to finish every single stage is already a victory. As I said in one of my other Dakar 18 related videos, Dakar 18 is a game to be tried by everyone cause it's different from everything else. We can't just floor our way through, we'll need to drive with our head, take extreme care of our vehicle, listen to the co-driver, follow the roadbook and drive our way around obstacles. As simple as that! Dakar 18 isn't for everybody. Don't expect to find a racing game similar to Forza Horizon, Dirt, Baja, WRC or V-Rally. It's a totally new breed of rally raid racing with a different concept that we can't simply compare to other racers out there. 
Even so, I invite you to try it out for yourselves, cause Dakar 18 will certainly produce completely different and contrasting feelings to everyone that has the guts to tackle such a challenge. So guys, this was my complete and honest review of Dakar 18 after being playing around with it for a full month. As a huge fan of the real event, I was really looking forward for this game and we must applaud Big Moon for the effort and again guts to bring a game based on the Dakar. I'm positive that Dakar 19 will be a lot better and prepare yourselves for a huge dose of dunes because the real Dakar 2019 will take place exclusively in Peru. If you're a racing fanatic, feel free to browse the channel because there's a ton of videos related to that genre since the early days of gaming. While you're at it, don't forget to like, to comment, to subscribe and to smash that bell icon so that you're notified when my next video becomes available. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in my next episode. More or less than... Easy, easy, easy! Let's try and finish this in one piece.